Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's James here. Um, just here with the next video uh, to to uh, give to you guys. So I had a, a collapse lung this uh, March. So uh, I'm just going to share that with you guys from now on. So within cystic fibrosis, uh, collapsed lungs can be can be uh, quite common. So a, a pneumothorax, it, it's called to be precise. It's the second time it's happened to me. Uh, first time, I was, I say I was quite lucky. It, it was like a slow release. So I still managed to, to play a game of cricket with a collapsed lung, which I did get a telling off um, by my consultant as it could have been quite serious. This time, so the second time, I had none of that. I was literally in my uh, my mum's kitchen, cleaning one of the cupboards and stood up next to me it felt, felt a, a sharp pain on my uh, around my left collarbone that turned to a heavy pain and strong burning with on my left side next thing i know couldn't breathe uh, luckily i had an oxygen cylinder within the house or within my parents house and uh yeah within within an hour i was from home Back of an ambulance, blue lighted into uh, to resource where I uh, was then fitted with a drain into my chest. I'm going to share all this with you for some of the pictures and videos that my parents took along the way. If you're squeamish, I advise, yeah, it, it's not for the faint hearted. So, uh, yeah, take a look. So once the drain was put in um, over in resource, uh, which you've just seen um, me in resource, you see the drain that was there um, and how small the actual lung went to, went small around the same size as my heart. Once the drain was put in, it brings the lung up slowly, um, getting the uh, the access of air out of the uh, the, the um, bag where it sits in, where it shouldn't be, should be in the lung, clears it out and then that naturally brings brings the lung up, which we'll see, uh, which we'll see very shortly. The, um, once all the air's out due to um, the drain, I had something called pleurodesis, which is basically gluing the lung back to where, to where it should be. You, your lung sits in a bag, and around that bag um, is where your your lung is fitted, and mine basically had collapsed right down, so it wasn't attached to anything. So once all the the um, the air is out, your lung is naturally comes up. Your um, they push through the drain, so it's powder mixed with um, some kind of solution, which I'm not entirely sure what it is, into to the to the lung, and it creates a reaction which then inflames my lung and which that will then cause like a sticky glue to stick to the wall lining of the of the lung, creating my lungs to stay back up. And hopefully, touch wood, fingers crossed, it will remain that way. OK, so now check out my uh, my time in hospital where you're going to see pretty much everything. Some of the next videos you're about to see and pictures are around the time when I had my lung uh, glued with pleurodesis. Yeah, it's a very painful time. Can't deny that. It was Anyone that's had it done will be able to vouch for me how painful it is. Almost to the stage where at times after I had it glued, I had to roll from different positions every 15 minutes. And yeah, I, I, I really struggled with that. I had to get the nurse and, and my parents to kind of roll me over as I held my chest so uh, you'll be able to see and, and listen to me on the day when I had it done. What are you doing? Just had my lung glued for the second time. It's not for the faint hearted I must admit. Very painful. I've had lots of morphine, some uh, 
sedation, local anaesthetic, and I felt everything. Um, fingers crossed, the more it hurts, the more it's going to benefit me and hopefully not happen again. But at this stage, like as you can see, attached to it all, in, I'm in the middle of turning every 10 minutes, 15 minutes. As you can tell my, by my voice, it is extremely painful. And then in the next hour, they will be released. Some of the liquid will come out. And we'll see if it's stuck. Oh, okay. So you can sit down. So yeah. one's up that way. If that's off. Yep. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. There you go. Yeah. That's good. You can go through. Yeah. It's got yeah. bit, you know, firm. You can see a tiny bubble. Yeah. How does that feel now? It's undone. So my blood's going off itself now. Yeah. Brilliant, I hope you're, uh, you're finding this quite interesting and beneficial if uh, you've been through it or you're going through it currently. Um, all I'd like to say is that there are support there. There's, you speak to your consultant, speak to your specialist nurses. Um, it's hard at the time. I, mentally, I was struggling, okay? just not struggling with the pain but struggling just to stay positive and see see the end goal um light at the end of the tunnel as as they say but but yeah um we got through it so what you're about to see now is when the drain came out and then the the, the after effect he was doing a podcast okay so i had a telephone conversation with him ready yeah. Right. yeah 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 okay so i want you to take a deep Breath in and then out, and I'll pull it as you're breathing out. Oh, shit. Ah. Well done. All done. Oh, that should be fine, isn't it? Interesting. Lastly, I'd just like to thank you all, all for watching YouTube. Um, keep up to date with, uh, with my channel and please subscribe, share, um, and I'm sure I'll be uh, back with some, some new uh, topics very soon. Thank you.